Another alternative to adding offset outlines around designs is to use quilting backgrounds. You can use this feature to create five different types of quilting designs. Select quilting background in the edit toolbox and decide on the block size. Proportional sizing is checked by default, so if you change the width, it will automatically change the height. After choosing the type of quilting you wish, and for this one, we're going to do echo quilting, you'll make decisions about the design margin. The design margin is going to be the distance the quilting is from the design. The block margin will be the distance that the design is from the block size. And the line spacing will be the distance between the lines of quilting. You can also choose a contrast color if you wish and click OK. Quilting is added around the combination of designs. If you're not satisfied with the position of the designs, you can click Undo and try changing one of the values in the quilting background. Now let's look at the other types of quilting. Echo does parallel rows of quilting around an object, while scroll quilting will start at the inside of an object and continue to stitch around the design. So the rows are parallel still, but instead of stopping and starting on each quilting line, there will be some scrolling around the design. Let's try echo clipped next. When you echo clip a design, it will have parallel rows, but instead of a square or rectangle border around the design, the parallel rows just disappear into the border. Next, we'll try echo clipped designs. When the type of quilting is clipped, there is no border square around the quilting lines. The lines just generate to the edge. And in the case of echo clipped, they will be parallel lines around the designs that just dissipate to the edge. Scroll clipped will also generate lines to the edge of the block without a block square around the design. But in this case, again, the lines start at a point and then go around the object. So there's less stopping and starting. These designs are grouped, but you can ungroup them if you wish to delete little bits and pieces from the design. Of course, you can also generate stipple quilting. And this is the familiar puzzle piece quilting. I'm going to delete the four corners of this design and show you a way to offset your quilting, which is another thing you can do with quilting backgrounds. So we'll open quilting backgrounds. I'm going to keep it the same block size. I'll use the stipple quilting. Instead of using the design center as the block center, I'm going to digitize the center and click OK. When you choose this, you can move your quilting square around the design and you click on the screen when you place the design where you want it around the quilting. So you have many different ways to create your embroidered quilting designs.